Ah, what's good, YouTube? It's Mars D. Yep. And today I'm bringing y'all the best center build on current gen, man. Y'all can see I am back on current gen with it. But in this video, I'm going to be showing y'all the best center build. I'm going to show you guys how to make it. I'm going to show you guys some highlights with it. As well as I'm going to be showing you guys what badges to run with it. If you guys do want to see more videos from me in the future, make sure to hit that sub button. You know, it really helps me out just by clicking that one button. And you can always unsubscribe if you want. Make sure to hit that sub button and drop a like if you haven't already. But without further ado, let's get right into it. She know I keep the bag on me How about God, couple rocks on me I'ma hit it, then I dip No, I do not trust a bitch Cause they all be the same to me All these thoughts always running through my head I'ma get the bag, double back for the bread I'd rather smoke a blunt, kicking back in my bed And yeah, she in my line cause she know I'm getting bread And she know I keep the bag on me How about God, couple rocks on me I'ma hit it, then I dip No, I do not trust a bitch all right, y'all, let's get into the actual making of the build now. So the position is going to be a power forward. The handedness does not matter, but I usually like my players right-handed, so I'm going to go right-handed. And the jersey number does not matter. I'm just going to go down to zero because that's the number I always do. And let's go ahead and hit continue. Um, so the skill breakdown, you guys see all these pie charts right here. The pie chart you're going to pick for this center build is going to be the pure red. Now, there's a lot of pie charts you can go like in this game. Um, obviously for center builds you have blue red and then some people even like go for poppers which, which which is red green but honestly they're not really that good so the best center build you can make is just a pure defensive and rebounding center so that's the one we're gonna go ahead and show in this video um, you're gonna go to the second one from the bottom the pure red pie chart this is the one you're gonna pick um, for the physical profile this is very very important for a center now you guys are probably thinking you could probably gonna need strength strength in this game does not really matter and so with that being said there's two pie charts that you have available to yourself you have the first one which is pure speed this is going to be the fastest pie chart you're going to get the most speed out of this pie chart however there's one that's actually better than that one it's this one right here which is speed invert you can see speed goes down a tiny bit but your vertical goes down so much and vertical i'm going to touch why vertical is so important a little bit later but make sure y'all keep watching and y'all can find out but this this you're going to want to go to the fourth one down the speed and vertical pie chart so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to upgrade your standing dunk your driving dunk your driving layup and your close shot except you're gonna take one off close shot and one off the driving layup and that's gonna leave you with 16 finishing badges which is plenty of finishing badges the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to pass actually upgrade all the way to pass actually and all the post moves and you're gonna put your ball handle to a 51 this is gonna get you six playmaking badges it's the most playmaking badges you can get you can see if i put it all the way up i still only get six playmaking badges so you're gonna want to put it to a 51 ball handle and then the next thing we're going to do is defense. Now, this is pretty simple. You're just going to upgrade everything um, except the least, ironically, the least important status play interior defense. And you're going to leave interior defense to take four off of that. So it's going to be an 81 and the rest of the defense stats are maxed. Now, let's go ahead and take continue. You guys can see that the badge upgrades are 16, 1, 6, and 30. You're going to have 30 defense badges, which is a lot of badges for this build now hit continue the body shape you're gonna want to go with is burly now me personally i don't really like my players burly but for this specific build burly is just the best body type because you're not shooting at all for for uh builds that i shoot on i don't like going burly but this is a inside center so i would 100 percent go burly um you're gonna be big it's the biggest body type it's gonna make you look bigger it's gonna make your screens better so go ahead and go burly um and with the height you're gonna go down to six eight now six eight is the best height for centers um six seven six eight do not make a taller center than that your center is gonna be slow and clunky if you make a center that's taller than that every single comp center in the game every single all of the best centers in the game are all six foot eight none of them are taller they're all six foot eight six foot eight is the best height for a center now let's go into the weight now there's a couple things that people i've seen people do with the weight now, the best thing that I, I would do is just go minimum weight. You do not need strength in this game. Strength is not important, um, can, at least compared to vertical and speed. And you guys can see with these physicals, 
what plus when you when you hit 99 so when you have 99 plus gym rag gives you a plus four you're gonna have 90 speed 88 acceleration and a 97 vertical now vertical i know i said i was going to explain why vertical is so important vertical is so important because it helps a lot with rebounding rebounding if you have a low vertical you're not going to get any like good rebound animations all of them are just going to be your player barely jumps off the ground even if you have rebound chaser but i promise you if you have speed and vert you're going to grab every single rebound and you're going to be able to run across the court you're going to be able to hedge you're going to be able to play amazing defense when you're really really fast so now that we've done the weight let's go to wingspan and i think this is pretty self-explanatory but for wingspan you're gonna max it out you can see this gives pluses to all my defensive stats and all my finishing and there's really just no point in not maxing out your wingspan so you're gonna go max wingspan right here now there's two different takeovers you can choose rim and rebounding now i think going if you go rim protector takeover it's just terrible i think rim protector takeover is terrible you know you already have these super high defensive stats plus i'm not gonna lie like you're not gonna like it doesn't really do much rebounding takeover is a lot better um it shows you where the board is gonna go and it just makes your rebounding so much better you're gonna get every single board when you have glass cleaning takeover also you guys can see i know i like to have fun on my centers and there's one move that's really fun the pause in you probably you guys probably know how to do it um and you guys can see you finish putbacks better with glass cleaning takeover so if y'all want to have fun and do that move make sure you guys pick glass cleaning takeover as well it's just a way better takeover between these two options so go with glass cleaning takeover and as you guys can see, the build is a glass cleaning finisher. This is the build you want. And we're going to go ahead and test it. I'm going to show you guys the best badges to run with this build. All right, guys. So now let's get into the badges for finishing. These are the badges I run. These are the badges you're going to want to run. You're going to want a gold to show time and gold contact finisher. These are your two most important badges. You're going to want to put these on first. The next one is going to be slithery finisher and relentless finisher. These two badges are extremely important. Now you have four more badges. Um, there's a couple things you can do. One thing you could do is put Lob City pick and roller on, or another thing that I usually do, um, cause I, like I said, I mentioned the pause move earlier. That move is really fun to do. And um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put put back boss and cross key score on. These two badges help with doing that move. So if you guys, by the way, if you guys want a tutorial on that move, go ahead and drop this video. 50, if this video gets 50 likes, I'll go ahead and upload a pause in tutorial on how to do the pause in. Um, but uh, these are the finishing badges I would recommend running. Like I said, if you guys don't feel like doing the pause in, you guys don't want to do that move, take cross key score off, take put back boss off. You don't need those badges um, and put pick and roller or lob city on. And those are the best badges you can run for a center. Now let's go ahead and confirm it. Shooting badges do not matter. I'd run like slippery op ball. I don't know. It doesn't really, it doesn't matter at all. Um, for playmaking badges, I'm gonna, I, I would go ahead and run bailout, um, unpluckable, and like quick first step. Those are the three badges I would run. Um, nothing really other than that matters. Those are like the three badges that matter. So I would go ahead and run those. And then for defense, this is where it gets interesting. Defensive badges, the most important defensive badges are going to be Rebound Chaser, Rim Protector, Brick Wall, Chase Down, Intimidator. Intimidator Silver. You don't need Intimidator Hall of Fame. Um, a lot of comp centers only run at Silver. It's, it's basically the same as Hall of Fame. It doesn't really matter. Um, but go ahead and put Intimidator Silver. You're going to put in Interceptor on. Box Silver. Box Silver is a super underrated badge. Now, there's a couple other things you could do. You can put on clamps, especially if you're playing high, you want to put on clamps. Um, lightning reflex is also good. Um, and then with the last two badges, there's a, a couple different things you could do. Even if you don't want to run, let's say clamps, you can put it on heart crusher. Heart crusher is a really, really good badge. Heart crusher is actually banned in wagers because it's so good. It's banned in wagers. It's banned in tournaments. It's banned because it is so good. You get one steal and the entire other team is on cold. You get one block, the entire other team is on cold. So if you're running Hall of Fame Heart Crusher, that is just glitchy. Um, so if you guys do want to run it, go ahead. Like I said, you guys might want to put on clamps, but these are definitely badges that I would suggest running. And yeah, another glitchy badge would actually be Trapper too. But like I said, you, you have 30 defensive badges and that may seem like a lot. 
but eventually you run out of space you or you run out of badge points it, it, you can see there's a bunch of badges you can put on but honestly 30 badges like you can't put every single badge on hall of fame even though 30 badges is still a lot but these are the defensive badges i would recommend and that's about it for the badges all right y'all i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this video helped you out if it did help you out make sure to drop a like and hit that sub button if you haven't already but that's gonna be about it for today like i said if y'all want to see more videos make sure to comment down below what you want to see and i'm out man peace